to head over to a parking deck that we uh, strike and place numbers, signage, and uh, we're getting ready to do a walkthrough. So again, remember I told you, you have to roll in uh, periodic check-ins with your GCs and your owners to make sure that all of the uh, items are, are completed from what is on the plans. So when we go over here, I'm gonna show you um, how I do it so that when you are on projects, you roll these in. Do not be afraid to ask your GCs to sign off on different parts of the project so that by the time you get to the finish line, um, and if you have to do a lien waiver, if you have to do a lien waiver where they hold a retainage, the reason why they hold that retainage is to get you to come back and to fix anything that may be um, off. So this is a way to avoid having to come back, waste money, waste time, putting labor and staff back on a project that you're trying to get off of. You wanna make sure that, that, that this is signed off on and you wanna create a document so that when you have completed your walkthrough, you can follow that up with a sign off. Do a sign off so that you have proof that someone saw the project and signed off on its completion. This will help you later in your projects. All right. Hey guys, so I'm here in the deck. Um, we're getting ready to look at uh, some of the work that I completed. And um, I think this is worth noting too, is that don't be afraid to be criticized. Um, you're not gonna be perfect when you're doing uh, a project. You're gonna miss things. It's okay, all right? Uh, but, but you're going to take notes on that and you're going to learn from those mistakes. Every project is a learning lesson and none of them are perfect. But when you start learning from your mistakes, you're going to get better at it. You're going to be able to point things out and you'll be able to, to judge your own work. Um, so even before you have those uh, check-ins or um, those meetings with the GC, you can correct things even before then. So um, it's going to happen. Don't worry. But I am here in the parking deck and we're getting ready to walk this. So I'll give you guys some uh, updates after the walkthrough is completed. So, met with the GC, job went well. There's a, a bunch of little stuff that we didn't catch. Not a big issue. You ask questions that make the GC think about you in the future. And that is, this guy cares about the job. He cares about the job being done right. Sometimes when you're over, you, you're over scheduled, but you are, you're thinking about the details, that's your selling point. That's your selling point. Paying attention to detail. This work is about details. This is about details. And you're going to miss the details because we're human. But when you come back and you say, okay, we'll fix that. We'll get that done on a problem. That's when you can start to see that uh, you're not just, you're not just doing a job but you're building a relationship. And that's when one of the key points I wanna teach you is how to build good quality relationships with your GCs. Every GC that you work with is not gonna be a, a, a relationship building situation, but you'll know the ones that wanna build relationships with you because they want to be able to call people that they like. And it's easy to be liked. You just have to be available. You gotta do a good job and you gotta make yourself um, vulnerable in moments where you know you messed up and you're willing to fix stuff. It's not, it's not complicated and it's not hard. 
it's really simple. It's just, you gotta execute on those steps very, very carefully so that um, you are remembered. When somebody comes up, when somebody's thinking about striping, you want them to think about you. You want them to think about you, not Joe Schmo down the street, but you, your company. And um, the way you do that is you have to start paying close attention to details. And the more you do this, I promise you, it's going to make a lot of sense.